Hi, and welcome to Carolina Women. We are here today with our friend Deb from Metabolic Research. I'm really excited. I told you I have a client for you today. So we haven't seen you in a long time. You've been extra busy. Now that spring is sort of fading into summer, all I can think <laughs> about, right, are barbecues, corn on the cob, lots of exercise in the heat. How does that affect your business? And are people looking um, really excited now about getting into their bathing suits? Busier than ever right now. It, it's definitely, okay, you know, time to get back on the boat, time to get in the swimsuit or our fun little shorts, so. So what do you recommend as the beginning? How do we start and not get so overwhelmed up that we don't do anything? Start with a simple menu. Just, you know, follow the menu. Don't overthink. When we overthink, we mess up. Really? What yeah, is that? Rule of yeah, it really is. What does yeah. that mean with start with a simple menu? Just simple, like if you're going to a cookout. So think about it. What would you have? A burger okay. and fries or coleslaw? So pick your best choices. Have that great burger, just don't have the bread. You know, get your fixings on the side. You know, you want to have some fries, then have. Is it true that you should eat like the proteins or the vet or the good stuff first and kind of keep the carbs to the side of the plate? Or maybe off the plate? I know what you're no. gonna say. I know what you're no, saying. No, no. Well, okay. From what you've I'm glad I asked then. Well, because what you tell what us every thought. time. Yeah, balance. Gotta have balance. a balance. Yeah, we get our sugar from our carbs. Right. So if you're gonna deplete your sugar, you're depleting your balance. And then 30 minutes later, an hour okay. later, you're gonna go, I want something. So we can get a little tablespoon of mac and cheese, even though it's not the best for us. Mm -hmm. That's great news Yeah, to me. Is it for you? Oh my gosh, yeah. absolutely. You don't want to deprive yourself yes. when you're at a, a function. Sure. Fourth of July, Memorial right. Day coming up. If you deprive yourself, number one, you're not going to be happy, right? Mm -hmm. you know, and then you're going to go, I don't think I want to do this anymore. I love that. It's balanced. It is. I have a broad spectrum question. Who's your perfect client? At what point do I say, you know what, I really need some assistance in managing my fuel? Mm -hmm. That's the perfect client. That is someone that goes, I can't do this. I need help. Mm -hmm. I've got tips. You've told me all kinds of things. I'm not putting them to work for me. So show me how I can put those in my ballpark. Got it. So I can make this work, because if you let me know, I can help. If you don't let me know, we're just gonna have a lot of guessing going on. So if you're one of those people who, you know, has a dip in the day of your energy level, your fatigue, does, mm -hmm. is that an indicator that something is off with what you're not, not that that's a personal that's, question. <laughs> that might be going on. <laughs> It is. It's yeah. definitely, uh, there's the balance in your food again. Right. You know, you've got to have carbs, protein, and healthy fat at every meal. I think sometimes yeah. we get confused about what that looks like. I know pistachios and nuts are good for you, right. but a 16 ounce bag probably isn't the right way to do that. Right. I think from an accountability point of view and just having a professional who'd be able to guide us in that, it makes so much sense. To, it's metabolic research. I mean, you're pretty much science-based. It is 100% science-based. So let's talk about those nuts. Any nuts good, as long as it's not honey-coated, sugar-coated, but you want that to be only once a day with a meal. Oh, Because with a if, meal. if you put that in between your meal, mm -hmm. that is technically a fat that you're yes. eating, okay. even though it's healthy, but it's a fat and you should only have like maybe 10. Okay. of those. Who can stop at 10 if you're just going to oh, let that be your munchie, good, right? Yeah. I mean, you're going to get a handful, you know, a handful. And you think you're okay because you're like, oh, well, I'm not really having my lunch, so maybe I can just eat the whole bag. Yeah. And, you're thinking, and you're exactly. thinking, this is just nuts. Exactly. <laughs> well, Aaron and I are big on takeaways. Before we, we've got mm -hmm. 30 seconds to go. Yeah. What is the best efficient snack to have to hold you between meals? Great question. Dill pickles. Oh what? my God, I love pickles. Dill pickles. Do you love pickles? Buy some I do. dill. There you go. Who knew? And they're right. satisfying because they're crunchy. It's a crunch. Yeah. The flavor. Saltiness. Yeah. The zip. Oh, you yeah. are. You, we want her back. She's good. Yeah. Oh What's your gosh. favorite brand? It does not matter as okay. long as it's a dill <laughs> pickle. pickle shopping. Stay yeah. with us. We're going pickle shopping. Yes. Stay with us. There's just more to come.